headers and footers for Scrivener documents are preset in Compile, but that doesn't mean that you can't change them. First, headers and footers in ebooks aren't something you can change other than putting your metadata in correctly for your title. So this is only going to be about Microsoft Word compiled documents. You're going to have to create your own format in Compile to change the details. So right click on the format you want to update and give it a name. And choose whether or not you want it to be just for the current project or all future projects. Click on page settings and beneath the page setup information you'll see headers and footers. Let's start with the easiest thing first. Down the bottom of the window you have the header and footer fonts. Personally I've never understood why these are different fonts in the paperback formats, but to change them just click on the bar and you'll get a regular font selection window to make your choices. Above that you'll find some of the things you'll recognise from the Microsoft Word page setup options. If what you're creating is a novel, you'll have different headers and footers for left and right hand pages selected, for example. And as you can see, there's an option for the main body header and footer to start after the front matter, for books, and on page two for other kinds of manuscripts. It's unlikely you'll have to change any of these, but if something isn't coming out correctly, or you're creating your own format from scratch, this is where to find it. Now let's click on the header and footer text tab. What's in this window will depend on what kind of document you're creating, but basically the different page formats or sections are listed in the box on the left, and then there are a series of boxes on the right where the information for that format is placed. Those three boxes are left hand, centred and right hand. There will already be information in here, but only in specific boxes depending on the kind of document. That information will be in the form of placeholders, taking information from your metadata or from your author information, plus some kind of numbering format. You can, if you want, just overtype the information with standard text, if you don't want to bother with working out what different placeholders you might need. But the numbering placeholder should be left intact. So that's headers and footers. Next time we'll be talking about changing number formats in titles in Compile.